Today, I'm going to talk about three things that you should avoid in the kitchen, avoid eating if you actually love your health. The first one I'm going to talk about is microplastics. Now, what are microplastics? These are the tiny little pieces of plastic that get shed into our food and into our water from containers that we store our food in. You know that the container, the plastic container you buy uh, that you can actually put leftovers in, you know the uh, containers you get for takeout, you know that the plastic cups that your drinks come in or the plastic bottles that your beverages uh, come in or even the plastic jugs that uh, water gets delivered in, right? Or bottled water. Uh, so turns out that microplastics are shed into our food and our water. And when we actually drink them, guess where they go? Everywhere. And our body doesn't know how to get rid of it very efficiently. In fact, it's been estimated every single week, uh, the average American ingests a credit card worth of plastic. That's a huge amount of plastic. It gets into our organs. It's been detected in our blood, uh, which is pretty scary. And more recently, there's been a study published uh, in the New England Journal of Medicine by uh, a group of researchers from Italy, from Belgium, and from the United States. And what they've actually found is that people with cardiovascular disease have plastic embedded into the plaques that are blocking their circulation. They were studying uh, people that were getting something called um, an atherectomy. This is the procedure that's often done in the neck where there is a narrowing due to the blockage and uh, you go into the neck, a vascular surgeon, and you just pop out that, uh, the, the plaque that's blocking it. What they actually found is that many uh, of the patients actually had fragments of plastics microplastics and nanoplastics, even smaller, studding these plaques. This is actually crazy to think about, but obviously the plastic has got to go someplace that we eat. Uh, this research study found that those people who actually had plastic embedded in their plaque had a 4.53 increase in mortality, chances of dying from a heart attack or stroke. That is actually kind of the nail in the coffin. Uh, and I would avoid microplastics and nanoplastics. I would actually avoid all plastic containers uh, in the kitchen. Now, plastics are all around us. Um, and actually, the researchers are not even sure if all the plastics they found in these plaques in the body came from uh, the food, although they, they suspect so. Plastics can also come from uh, the air that we breathe. There's plastic floating in the air. When we're sleeping, we're inhaling uh, plastic uh, into our systems. They've even found plastic in the ocean, obviously, but they found it at the bottom of the Marianas Trench. That's the deepest part of the ocean. So in the kitchen, avoid plastics and microplastics whenever you can. Second thing to avoid, charred foods. You know that uh, barbecue grill, uh, where you actually get these burnt ends or the steak that you're actually uh, on the skillet and you wind up actually getting this nice char on it, okay? Be really, really, really careful. That char is a carcinogen and it uh, is composed of, they, we even know what's actually in it that makes it particularly dangerous. There's something called PAH, that's polycyclic, aromatic hydrocarbons, PAH, polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons. And there's also something called heterocyclic aromatic amines or HCA. So PAH and HCAs, these are carcinogens, really, really nasty ones. So although those crispy burnt uh, ends uh, kind of like remind us of the barbecue, you know, the, the, the fun times, uh, I can tell you that those are the most dangerous parts of the meat to eat. So you've heard enough about like trying to cut down or cut out um, your red meat. Well, here's, if you do eat red meat um, by all, from all, every angle, what you want to do is avoid the charred part because that is carcinogen. If you have meat, just trim it off. That's what I would recommend that you do, right? I mean, think about it. When you're actually, if you have a piece of bread that's actually charred, you're going to cut that off or just toss it out. So don't eat those burnt ends. Third food I want to tell you to avoid is fried foods. Fried foods actually have 
a carcinogen in it as well. It's called acrylamide. And acrylamide is a kind of plastic. And I want to explain this to you because we all love, I think human nature tells us we love crunchy, crispy foods. All right. I, I love it as well. But I can tell you what the science tells us is that when you fry food, whether it is uh, fish and chips, whether it's French fries, I will tell you that the browner it gets, the crunchier it gets, all right, the more acrylamide naturally forms as part of a chemical reaction. Hey, if you're enjoying this content, then I know that you'll love this new resource I have on foods that you should swap out and foods that you should swap in to improve your health and to prevent disease. My resource helps you identify the foods that are probably sitting in your pantry or fridge right now that I recommend ditching and tells you what to replace them with that has been shown in research and human studies to strengthen your body's health defenses. So it's time to toss out the bad and bring in the good. You won't want to miss out on this resource that I'm offering. Get it for free right now in the caption below. Now, back to the video. Acrylamide, by the way, is uh, what we use for super glue, all right? It's also what we use in plastic uh, models and other things that you might actually see. That is not something that you want accumulating in your body. So if you're going to eat fried foods, which I don't recommend that you do, uh, if you do it once in a while, okay, as a special treat, don't eat too much of it. Cut it. This is an example of something to cut down or cut out. But be very, very cautious. Be aware that the darker the fried food, the crispier it is, the more acrylamide it's going to be and it's going to accumulate in your body. All right. So let's recap here. Three foods to uh, avoid. Food stored in plastic or beverages stored in plastic because of the microplastic that can get all over our body, including in our blood vessels and even in the plaques. All right. Number two, charred food, charred meats, especially. These are the polycyclic uh, aromatic hydrocarbons or the heterocyclic amines. These are carcinogens and fried foods. Uh, the darker the fry, the crispier it gets, the more acrylamide uh, there is a plastic that accumulate in your body. Three things to avoid. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. Hi there. If you enjoyed watching this video, I know you'll love the next one. Stay here and check it out. And I'll see you there.